I wonder if you've ever inherited anything. Some things we just receive, an heirloom or even a house that we might just sell on. But other things we receive and we invest in them. It might be a house that we want to live in and so we make improvements and changes to keep it comfortable, working, habitable. It might be a business that we have to learn how to work in, how to manage, how to best take it forward so that we and those dependent on us can best profit from our inheritance. I have a friend who already works in her dad's business and she knows that it will be part of her inheritance. But even before she is in charge, she is investing in it because she knows it's an investment in her future. In the Bible, we're told that we are God's heirs together with Jesus. And it struck me that to be heirs in God's kingdom isn't the type of inheritance we want to just receive and then sit on or sell on. It's the type of inheritance we want to invest in. Like my friend, investing in God's kingdom is an investment into our future. And that is the only future that we can have a sure hope in. Anything could happen to us or to the things that we own today or tomorrow. But there is one kingdom that will be never wiped out. And that is the one that is really worth investing in. To invest costs us. And when it says in the Bible that we are God's heirs together with Jesus, it says together with the suffering as well as the benefits. Because when we are invested in something, we suffer when things go wrong as well as when things go right, we can celebrate. And we're there for the ups and the downs. But God's kingdom is the one thing that is really worth investing in. There will be ups and downs. There will be suffering and struggling. It says so in the Bible. But we invest because it looks likely to pay back more than what we pay in. That's why we invest. It costs us to do it initially, but we know that it's a worthwhile investment. And the kingdom of God is the most worthwhile investment. So what will we put in today into the kingdom of God, into our inheritance? And this is a kingdom whose currency is in acts of love, mercy, justice and grace. How can we live today in a way that is investing in our future?